is T Blake here. I haven't started talking yet. I haven't. What's going on guys, Steve Blake here, and today we're checking out the Air Jordan 4 Laser. I was able to attend a Jordan brand event on 166 Flatbush Street in Brooklyn. Uh, they have a really cool installation where they pulled out a lot of Michael Jordan's old sneakers. I posted that if you're curious. Uh, before I get into the shoes, I want to show you guys some of the packaging that they came with. Um, so they came with a special bag, uh, which is made for the 30th year anniversary in kind of a Tiffany blue color. I haven't really figured out the significance of the Tiffany blue as there aren't really any sneakers that are dropping in that colorway. Um, everything's kind of like the pearls or the laser. It also came with a brand book. They're doing this whole thing, I'm not Michael, I am Jordan. And uh, they're essentially trying to rebrand some of their Nike athletes as Jordan athletes because obviously Michael Jordan's not playing basketball anymore. and They're really trying to figure out who the, the faces of Jordan brand are. And through this campaign, they're trying to make you, the consumer, like the face of Jordan Brand. I don't know how I necessarily feel about that and how successful that will be, but that's just to let you know the marketing behind it. Uh, let's show the Jordan 4. Uh, so I did get a size 12 um, retail, although I'm having a hard time focusing on it, is $250. I thought retail was $190. When I got up to check out this product, I thought the woman made a mistake. Um, I would not have bought this if it was if I had known ahead of time it was 250 I think that's a bit much. That being said, there are some really nice um, aspects to the sneaker in terms of quality, and I'll know people say that all the time, and they have no idea what they're talking about, but I'm gonna explain that in a second. But retail is 250 uh, which is kind of a disappointment. Oh, and then going back to that Blake Griffin thing, they had a uh, installation there where you could take a little photo. It says, I'm not Micah, I'm Jordan. And then picture of your boy so that's pretty cool so if you're in New York you can actually do this too all these things you can do okay now time for the sneaker so this obviously uh, corresponds with the other laser Jordans that we've seen in the past there's been laser Jordan ones uh, obviously before the the first release that we just saw this this year there's been uh, two iterations of the four um, one that's kind of like the fire red colorway with the lasering and then there's a, a black laser one this Jordan one uh, definitely has good quality aspects to it notably noticeably right here on the toe box this is actually um, back tech sealed which means they take the two pieces of the upper where you usually would see stitching and they back tech them together so it's essentially been kind of like uh, fused together which is uh, something that you don't see on Jordan brand models very often it's it's something that takes a lot of time and the process is a bit more expensive just want to show you guys a little bit more of the lasering design as you can see it's pretty intricate and um, it actually has the, the texture to it so you can see where these have been laser etched in there's there's a very small crevice um, which is kind of a nice thing aesthetically comes with the Jordan hang tag white laces um, I do not believe these come with an extra set of laces so you just stuck with the white and then they accented it with kind of the silver and then a 3M tongue, I believe, which is all silver as well. Back tab, they kept it clean with the white. This is very much like some of the anniversary packs that they did with the white, silver, um, white and silver. And now they've basically added lasering to everything. Uh, I don't know if that necessarily is 30th year anniversary to me, um, but this sneaker definitely is one uh, that I was looking forward to, especially considering I missed out on the previous Jordan 4 lasers. So just showing you it a bit more up close. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about the laser Jordan 4 and let me know down in the comments if you're planning on picking up any of the 30th year anniversary Jordans that are dropping around All-Star Weekend. And I will have a couple more videos up as I am in New York City for this. So hopefully there'll be some more cool content for you guys. Uh, that aren't able to make it out to New York City or it's a bit too far. So um, I'll definitely have that post. In the meantime, T-Lake signing out. Catch you guys soon. Peace.